coming back to the channel, Gumshoe Tech. Uh, stay tuned for uh, an insight to Zipper Discover and removing some abilities from Discover. I keep on seeing a lot of questions about how do I do updates on Tumbleweed, OpenSUSE, or should I use Zipper or Discover um, when I do updates, one or the other, and then um, comments about what should I use when I have a lot of updates in OpenSUSE, specifically Tumbleweed. Um, well, it's kind of a two-fold uh, scenario. We see here that we have updates available in the bottom right, right corner. This is from Discover. So what I usually do is I open up console and do sudo zipper duck. Then do your password. This is just going to do updates for your system. So I have a few repositories out there. So it takes a couple of seconds. It's going to go out there, refresh your uh, metadata for updates. And it looks like this one is going to take a long time, but done. Um, your system is actually reaching out to the main repo and it's most likely going to send you to a closer um, repository. Um, like I said, I have a few repos that are tied into my system, and there are 4.43 gig of data um, here. It's going to tell you what it's going to be installed, what's going to be updated and removed. So I'm just going to hit Y here and then this is real time you see it's preloading everything downloading it to my system this is what it's going to do preloading helps it go a little bit faster um, if you see an error like these three right here 404 not found what it does it actually goes to the next mirror and downloads it so it does say uh, done right below it so that's normal and it's what we expect you know some people say man this is slow is it slow I don't know to me it doesn't seem too bad I usually don't sit here and watch any of my updates I just launch it and go do something else go get a drink go to the bathroom watch TV so to be honest is it slow? I mean, it's downloading 7 meg uh, a second, so to me, that's not too bad. Now, if it goes down to 1 meg a second, that'd be here for hours. It's uh, into the eye of the beholder. We'll sit here and we'll go this through, and then we'll do your our second set of updates for flat packs. And, uh, and I'll really explain why I do this in a way of getting around Discover from updating the system. When I first installed uh, OpenSUSE, I would use Discover for all of my updates. Um, it, it, it worked. I had no issues for about six months and then I started seeing issues with Discover not being able to complete updates. Um, that's because uh, certs would change. And you really need to do your updates via the command line CLI so that you can see those cert changes and agree to the new cert. Discover and uh, I think Yast will uh, actually pop up and, and tell you about a cert change, but Yast is now depreciated. Um, wish it would not be depreciated. That's why I'm not going to show Yast here because it's going to go away. It's actually gone in Leap 16. Uh, as of uh, October 1st, 2025. So if you got Leap 15.6, 
you can still use Yast. It's still going. Um, why Yast is going away, that's a completely different video, which one day I might actually do. So uh, the connection speed has dropped here. Uh, it's coming back up now. And again, this is just pre-downloading the RPM from the update servers to your PC. And then once the preloading is done, then you will be able to install and it'll switch. Probably speed this up a little bit here. We don't need to watch all of the pre-downloading or pre-loading of packages. Um, what it should have done is probably uh, put a clock on here so everyone knows how long it's actually taken our stopwatch or however you want to say that. update process right now. Now it's checking for conflicts. Uh, it wants to do basic uh, checks for system integrity. And since they're all pre-downloaded, they're installing them now. So 984 packages. So this is a decently large uh, update of my system. Uh, I do not do every system update when that pops up and says I have updates, I don't automatically do them. I, I kind of re or pre-read them what the update's gonna be for NVIDIA updates. I generally wait. I want to see what if there's any complaints. I use DaVinci Resolve. It is kind of tied to the NVIDIA uh, subsystem for CUDA. I have been bitten before where the NVIDIA kernel changes uh, caused DaVinci Resolve not to open. I uh, generally don't like that. Um, I had one that lasted uh, almost two weeks before I could uh, make a video until the kernel caught up. Um, I have since moved to AMD on this machine and I haven't been caught with any gotchas yet. Uh, I haven't heard of anything bad for AMD GPUs. Um, one of these days I'll actually get an AMD CPU uh, it's, uh, when I save my allowance, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I generally just run the kernel default. I don't run kernel long-term 
I've heard people say with NVIDIA you should run kernels long term and that helps with any NVIDIA update issues. I don't know, never done it. That's just what I've read. Is this long? I mean, we're only at 800 of 984 packages. And what's great with Linux in general, the updates, you get updates across the board for applications and your underlying OS. So it's not like Windows where it's not going to get all of the updates for you. Some of those you really do have to go out and search for on the Windows side. It's really why I like uh, Linux. OpenSUSE is my choice. Uh, KDE is my desktop choice. Others choose GNOME or Cinnamon. And, uh, you know, they might go for Gen 2, Debian, Ubuntu. That's their choice. I like that the Linux world has choices. You're not really stuck to an ecosystem. But really what you should do is stick to like the desktop that you like. The underlying OS could be different, but like KDE stays the same across the Kubuntu, um, Fedora or OpenSUSE. Um, this is my choice and you do you, right? We're not tied to a uh, big software company. So it's cleaning up now. It's running post uh, transcript. Trans We're running post transaction scripts to clean up the updates, remove unneeded uh, package parts that are used for the installation. And you can go back through here and read installing, removing, removing, installing. It's telling you that your system has been updated to the latest, greatest package. And I, in general, do not go back unless I see an error in installing. I don't look at removing or installing. And then, uh, now it's restarting some services. It doesn't do this every time. And right now it just uh, updated my Bluetooth. And so my headset was disconnected. So I don't know if you heard that. It said Bluetooth disconnected, but it's uh, back up. So I'm not gonna reboot. So the other option is discover. What we're going to do is, after we've done our zipper update, we're going to go in here. You can see my flat packs. They're all here for updates. I always do zipper, dup, because this is tumbleweed. If you're on leap, you would do up. Um, once for dup is rolling release and uh, leap is just standard release so reboot to show you guys this huh so it is installing the error was probably these three system software so yeah it is actually saying 20 updates why is it doing that i do not know but it's just doing the flat pack updates right now. So see what it did? It did all the flat pack. It did not do system software. That's good. So if we do refresh again, we'll see what it says. It should just say the same amount. No, it did one more. So let's do that. So 
that's it. I'm going to restart and install that, but probably not. So after a quick reboot, I'm going to open up Discover here, see what it says. So up to date, and hit refresh. So look, uh, once I did the update, we're going to see three. This is saying system software. And um, we'll hit update here to see what happens. See, there's technical system. And then dependency failed. But if we do go to the console again. Pseudo sys zipper duh. Just to see if zipper has seen anything. There's nothing. So this is a reason why I don't care to use discover for system. Um, on this PC, I guess I haven't um, turned off Dis Discover's ability to look at system updates. So let's work on that now. So let's close Discover here. What we're going to do is remove the Discover 6 backend package. And what this is doing, it's removing the ability for Discover to do system updates. And then what you need to do after that is remo remove the ability for Discover 6 backend package update to be installed again. So we're locking it. And then you should always do sudo zipper duck for your system to be updated. So see what it wants to do? It says it wants to install the backend from sudo, via sudo uh, zipper duck, but it is locked and it will not install again. So that's probably what you should do by default in a newer system. So your packages don't get confused um, with dis discover. I like discover. I want it to just do my flat packs. So now it doesn't see anything else. It's only going to see flat packs to install. Um, thank you for watching. I hope this helped uh, with two things. Zipper being slow really didn't do anything. Um, it's pretty fast. It used to be a lot slower, but if you're saying it's slow, um, start it and you know go get a coffee it's not that bad it's only a few minutes um, it's not windows so it's gonna get everything and but and then the second thing we did was decoupled discover from doing system updates and made discover only do flat packs or what it's installed that's the best thing you can do to keep your system up to date and having no crashes if you like this content please like and subscribe thank you have a good day